Hey guys, so today I just want to talk about uh, what weight of squash racket you should use. Um, so just kind of range four rackets out here, just, just kind of shows like my progression uh, through squash actually. These are all rackets that I've used. Um, so really uh, over here we've got like, we've got a kind of a beginner racket. It's Dunlop Aerogel Pro. Uh, this is quite heavy. I believe it's 145 grams and really like heavy rackets especially you know when they're like above 140 grams that's really meant for beginners okay it's meant for people who can't who need the weight of the racket to generate uh pace on the ball and to really use use that weight of the racket to you know generate um enough power to get a good drive and to get and to get the ball to the back of the court All right so really once you reach like an intermediate level you shouldn't be using uh any racket above 140 grams in my opinion right uh, and the reason being that as you get better and as you improve your uh, your wrist strength and your forearm strength, uh, you're really going to be able to generate power with your racket uh, with those muscles and without having to use the um, the heavy racket, right? So at that point, you know you progress to something you know kind of like this. That's uh, you know more 135. Uh, 135 grams is very normal weight for a squash racket in my mind that's what you should be aiming for it's a good balance between um between uh power uh and having it light enough that you can do you know quick reaction shots quick flicks uh more wrist action than you would with a heavier racket so you know these two rackets right here um are 135 i believe this one is 135 as well um but this one brings up a good uh example of a racket that is 135 grams but it's actually head heavy right so you have the weight of your racket but then you also have the balance of your racket right which is very very important the balance of your racket you know you could have 135 grams but if the weight is more concentrated in the head of the racket it's still going to affect that, that that quick you know kind of kind of like flick motion you know the, the quick whip of the racket that you develop as you develop your forearm muscle and your uh, wrist muscle so make make sure that you know you don't just buy a racket that is say 135 grams, you know, say off the internet or something, uh, you need to uh, make sure that they specify what the balance of the racket is, right? So make sure that they specify that it's, you know, uh, uh, even head light or head heavy. Um, you know, in my mind, you should go for head light unless you're a beginner, right? So head light uh, really allows you to do more flicks, which you're gonna see as you develop your muscles, you're gonna be doing more of those naturally, right? Something like the Dunlop Aerogel Pro, this thing is head heavy and should only be used by beginners, all right? So my recommendation overall is get a racket that is about 135 grams. You could go maybe 130, um, uh, as low as 130 and maybe as high as 140. Anything, you know, you see some of the pros use rackets that are very light, like, 120 or 125 to me for me that's too light i can't get proper drives on the ball especially if you're playing in cold conditions it's very difficult i find to get enough power to get the ball uh, regularly to the back of the court with a racket that's 120 grams or 125 grams so um, i would leave that to the pros i mean they've got incredible wrist and forearm power so, you know, I would go, you know, with something, something like this. This is my favorite racket, 135 grams. Also the uh, Dunlop um, Biomimetic Elite. You know, they've got different models of this now. You know, there's newer models with different names. <clears throat> um, but, uh, you know, that's also a good, you know, kind of reliable choice at 135 grams. And these are both uh, headlight rackets, you know, this one and the uh, the prince one here the prince x03 rebel this one is more head heavy uh you know it's 135 grams head heavy i don't like it can't get enough flicks on the ball not enough quick reaction so yeah as i said my overall recommendation 135 grams and head light all right so aim for that unless you're a beginner or is uh you know and in that case you can go a bit heavier at like 145 grams until you uh, until you build up that wrist and forearm muscle. All right, thanks. Hope hopefully it's helped.